it's Bargain Princess! <laughs> okay, so I'm really excited just because it's getting warm outside, probably because I'm a summer baby, was born in July, and I just love the warmer weather. Warmer weather makes me extra, extra happy. So if you can't handle this, just a forewarning, I'll probably be even more excited in my future videos. Just saying. Okay, so let me just start off with my new gems that I have on my boutique, which I'm super excited about just because I'm always trying to constantly keep my website updated. So for instance, I just added these I want to call them my two chains. I just love pairing chains like this with studs. I just think it's so pretty. I mean, come on. What do you guys think? These earrings are only $8.95. They're lightweight. I think they're just so chic, so edgy. I love the fact that they're clear, but with a pop of color with the corals and the pinks. Every time I wear these out, I get so many compliments, and I'm like, check out BP Gems. Holla! <laughs> I also added new midi rings, necklaces, and both bargain and princess collections, earrings obviously, small, medium, large, all different sizes. I also restocked on those trio earrings that were only $2.50. So hurry quick, go to the site before they sell out again because once they're gone, they are gone. So that is it with my shameless plug. <laughs> Let me start off with the things that I purchased from Sephora. I restocked on my Murad Clarifying Cleanser just because I swear by this. You guys are my witness. You've seen my skin improve over the past like year and a half. Lately though, like I mentioned in my previous video, I've been breaking out right here. It's it's actually calmed down some. Maybe Axone is really working. I also got my mom a early Mother's Day gift. I guess I have to get her another one because she already opened it. Oh, this just smells so good. Viva la juicy! <laughs> and then the two makeup items that I purchased were both from Urban Decay, their Naked line. This is their Naked Skin, and the only reason why I wanted to try this out is just because I really wanted a lightweight foundation that still provided great coverage. My only problem is this, I'm losing so much makeup. Do you guys have the same problem? But the benefits definitely sound amazing, so I'm definitely going to keep this just because it's really, really pretty on the skin. And then the other thing that I picked up from Sephora was the Naked Urban Decay Palette in Flushed. This I thought was a really good idea just because it's a 3-in-1 trio. I love the fact that it's really compact, perfect for traveling. I love how it comes with the bronzer, a luminizer, and a blush. But the thing is, this is the most chalkiest, expensive palette I own. And I feel like I have more product on the table than I do on my cheeks. Not to mention the bronzer doesn't really show, like it shows on my skin, but I kind of want a bronzer that's maybe a tad bit darker, um, especially for more of that bronze dramatic effect. Does that make sense? <laughs> but I really love the luminizer and then this blush. The blush is so pretty, but the bronzer, I just feel like I already have something similar from Physicians Formula, so this might be going back. Now on to JCPenney. I found a couple cute things from there. I, oh my gosh, JCPenney has so many amazing deals. For instance, I picked up this super cute, just casual peplum blouse, and this is by Bishu Bishu. This, you guys, guess how much this was? This came to $12. I think it was originally like $28. Bucks. I mean, come on. You can't go wrong with a basic black peplum top. Oh, and then the other thing that I picked up from JCPenney was this gorgeous pair of Aztec harem pants. I mean, do you see the print of this? This would also look cute with that peplum top, or you could throw on just the basic form-fitting top. Mesh top would look really cute with this. And then some bright, bold lipstick with these earrings even. Look how cute that would look with the pop of color. Oh, I just love, love these. These were originally actually $36. Oh, that wasn't much of a sale. And then I got them for $24.99, and this is by Jeans by Buffalo. But I mean, the quality of the material is amazing. It's very lightweight, but oh, perfect for spring, especially late summer nights as well. It does have pockets, a cinched in waist, and then a cinched in ankle. And the last thing that I picked up from JCPenney were these super cute boyfriend jeans. I just love, love the fit of these. These I've been wearing the heck out of lately. As you can see, they're light wash with a few distressed rips on both sides. I just really love these, and oh my god, these were originally $48, 48 bucks, and I got them for, are you guessing? Come on, take a guess. I'll wait. 12 bucks! I mean, can we say bargain? Because this was seriously like a score. This I love. And then on to H&M. I picked out only two things. 
I think I'm gonna actually take these back just because I originally first bought these before I found the ones from JCPenney. But these are just another pair of boyfriend jeans. If you don't know what boyfriend jeans are, they just have a fit of your boyfriend. Like they are very loose fitting, kind of baggy but not slouchy. I just love the fit of boyfriend jeans. I'm kind of taking a break from skinny jeans. But as you can see, the denim is just a little bit darker. It does have somewhat of a distressed look but not as noticeable as the JCPenney one. Um, once again, it has that cuff bottom. These jeans fit a little bit baggier, like they sag in the crotch, which I am not really feeling. Um, these jeans were a little, a little expensive. These were $40 compared to the JCPenney ones that only retailed for 12 bucks after the sale. I mean, come on, which jeans would you go for? The H&M ones or the JCPenney ones? I mean... It's a no-brainer. And then the last thing that I picked out from H&M was just a basic three-quarter length, just casual t-shirt. I've been digging black and white lately. I've been loving stripes. I mean, even with this chain or even without the chain and then these earrings for a pop of color. I mean, just really casual, comfy. It does have a pocket near the boob area. I mean, I never stick anything in this pocket because then it'll make me look like, oh, no. And last but not least, I was sent a couple things from Shein Sai. One of the things I'm wearing today, I just love, love this shirt. It says rich fashion, advisory, explicit content. I just thought this was so dope. It is one of those crop tops and maybe I just have a long torso, but it looks completely different than what it does on the website. Once again, Shein Sai is a China-based company. Shipping took forever. I mean, it took, I think, almost a month. It took about four weeks, so... Ugh. But the clothes are really cute. It reminds me kind of the quality of Forever 21 and H&M. Oh, and then the other thing that I picked up from She Inside was this super pretty colorful blazer. The material of this is so rich feeling. I love the fact that it's three-quarter sleeves. It also comes with workable zippers on both arms. I mean, look at the bright lining. Just love. The only thing is, this blazer is a tad bit snug around the arms. I'm working on that, been trying to be consistent with the gym, but nonetheless, it still fits. And then the last thing that I picked up from Shein Side, this probably has to be my favorite, favorite item, is this sheer kimono with these bright obnoxious flowers. Oh, do you see this? It's so pretty. And then the best thing about this is the fringe detailing at the bottom. Yeah, I can just see myself just twirling in the wind, going with the wind fabulous. Did you see Kenya and Real Housewives of Atlanta? I mean, trifling. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this whole video. Thumbs up if you did. Show your love and support. Comment down below anything else you would love to see from me on this channel. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button wherever it may be for weekly videos, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!